Welcome back to Coastal Living. Our next guest is from the Harbor Playhouse. Please welcome Joseph in the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. And this is Luke Walker, who is going to play Joseph. Yes, that that's right? right. That's right. I love what you're wearing. Thank you. First of all, yes. we have to take a look at this beautiful coat here. <laughs> yeah, the, this is the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat itself. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, very nice. Yeah, very bright. Loving it. Very well, colorful. It is very colorful indeed. And we are so excited to have you. Like I said, please tell us everything about this amazing show that we're going to start tonight, right? At the Harbor Tonight, Playhouse? yes. Tonight's opening night. Uh, it's going to play on Friday nights and Saturday nights at 7.30, Sundays at 2.30, except for this Sunday. We're not going to be um, showing this Sunday. And then the run's going to go all the way through April 5th. So you have all of March and uh, a little bit of April to come out and check us out. But uh, we started rehearsing right after the kids came back from their winter break. And it's just been quite the process to, to get where we are. But it's a ton of fun. It's a really great show. So please come out, support your local arts, and uh, and check it out. That sounds so fun. Now, Luke, I have a couple questions for you too sure. about this entire ordeal. So this is a musical, am it I is. right? Yes. So there's a whole lot of singing, a whole lot of dancing. I'm assuming it's actually all singing. All there's, there's singing. No, okay. There almost, I think there's two spoken lines pretty much in the whole thing. Uh, but it was, it's a show written by Andrew Lloyd Webber, um, and co the lyrics were written by Tim Rice. So it's very. Uh, in that same camp of music, if you know the, his musicals, um, it, it's going to be very similar to what you've experienced on that. But yes. So, so what I want to know is, so this is the story of Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. So the origins of the story, I'm not sure if all of our viewers know, but this is a biblical tale of sorts, right? right? Yes. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit about the play? Can you give us a synopsis? What's going on in this? Sure. So Joseph is one of 11 brothers. Um, they're the sons of Jacob. Um, sorry, 12 brothers. Joseph is the 12th brother. 12th brother. Uh, the sons of Jacob, the nation of Israel. So this is all the book of Genesis. Um, and Joseph becomes the, is the favored son of Jacob, uh, much to the chagrin of his other brothers. Uh, he receives his, this coat as a gift from his father, uh, and then his brothers pretty much just sell him to be a slave. And he gets taken off to Egypt, uh, where he rises. To, he gets sold to be uh, the slave of the captain Potiphar, the captain of Pharaoh's guard, um, biblically. And then he becomes the number two slave in the household, the number two man in that household, before uh, a turn of events in his life where he gets put in jail. And so it's this very wow. up, very up down story of Joseph. Okay. It's always he always comes up to be number two, and then he kind of crashes back down. But he always has God with him, and he receives Wonderful. favor. I love and that. so f he's a dream interpreter. He's a dreamer, mm -hmm. and he interprets dreams. And uh, he does so for two men in prison. One of which being uh, Pharaoh's butler, who returns to Pharaoh's service. When Pharaoh starts to have some uh, funny dreams that he doesn't know what's going on, the butler says, "Hey, uh, I know a guy." And Joseph winds up interpreting the dream for Pharaoh uh, correctly, and then he becomes the number two man in Egypt, getting ready for the uh, the feast and then famine that Egypt's about to experience. That's amazing. And it's all told through song and dance. <laughs> right. And so I've actually I've watched a few videos of this play. <clears throat> excuse me. And I I noticed that each video that I've watched, it's all of the same story, but I feel like it's kind of told differently. At the Harvard Playhouse, how are y'all going to do that in the sense that it's going to be more, uh, you know, creative in y'all's way of performance? Well, the, so every, uh, I would say every production is limited by the venue that they're going to be in mm -hmm. um, or unlimited by the venue that they're going to be in. So I think that's going to be kind of the biggest difference of what you would see uh, in professional companies, even though I think Harbor Playhouse, I mean, it's it's a professional company without, a, without a professional all cast. All of the plays I mean, are incredible. They are they are amazing. So really, uh, it's a very it's a very high level production. The set is incredible, um, but we just try to make it our own as actors, as a director team of hey, what are what are your talents as as the cast, right. and how can you uh, make that and then show that to the audience in in a in a fun way that really. Um, sparks the interest and the imagination of the audience. Sure, sure. Now, Luke, I have a, a question for you. So this is a musical yes. and you do have a singing background, but you also yes. have another interesting background. This isn't <laughs> your main gig. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. 
Well, uh, yeah, this is none of our main gig because it's community <laughs> theater, but um, I, I'm in the Navy. I'm a, I'm a flight instructor here at the, at the base. I've uh, been in the Navy for the last six years and have just been very blessed that uh, they have allowed me, they afforded me the time and the opportunity to uh, go and succeed at this. But it's like you said, uh, musically, I've, I mean, music has been a hobby of mine since yes. middle school, music and theater. Well, you're going to do an amazing job. And let's go over Thank the details you. really quick for tonight, opening night for this weekend. Go to the Harbor Playhouse. It's going to be from tonight, February 28th to April 5th. And just go ahead and call that number right there you see on your screen and be sure to stop on by. It's gonna be an amazing play. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank Luke. you for having me. All right, coming up, there is so much to do around the bend this weekend. So get your planner, take all of the notes of all the cool stuff to enjoy in our community. We'll be right back on Coastal Living.